This film will show you what to expect if you are having an ICD or pacemaker fitted. I'm Hilda Henry, I'm 73. I'm having a pacemaker today. I can wake up in the middle of the night and think somebody's knocking on the door, but it's my heart going out of its rhythm. And it can last anything from, say, four hours. The longest was 18. My name is Dr Brown. Uh, pleased to meet you and sorry to hear me. So. I think I'll feel a lot more confident when I'm booking things now. I can't, I've not wanted to book a holiday. Pacemaker will prevent the heart from going too slow in the future, and so it will allow us to control your symptoms better and to control your palpitations. I'd like to climb Rivington Pike, cos I used to live very near there. I'd like to get to the top of the pike dead easy. I'm Ben Brown. I'm a consultant cardiologist working in South Manchester and have a special interest in management of heart rhythm problems. To implant an implantable cardioverter defibrillator or to implant a pacemaker, the fundamentals of the procedure are pretty much the same. The main difference are to do with the equipment that's implanted into the patient. The pacemaker for Mrs Henry was a way of balancing things out, so it would allow us to give medication to control her palpitations, and then at the same time, it would prevent her having symptoms from the heart going too slow as a result of the problem that's underlying. Sometimes your heart beats in abnormal rhythms called arrhythmias. If these rhythms are life-threatening, you may be fitted with an ICD, implantable cardioverter defibrillator. An ICD constantly monitors your heart rhythms and will deliver electric shocks or pulses to correct a life-threatening rhythm. A pacemaker is fitted if your heart's natural pacemaker, called the sinus node, is not working effectively. A pacemaker sends electrical impulses to stimulate your heart to contract and produce a heartbeat. Although ICDs and pacemakers are used to treat different heart problems, they are fitted in a similar way. They are usually fitted under your collarbone and are connected to your heart by one or more electrode leads, which are placed into your heart through a vein. Defibrillators in particular have quite major lifestyle implications, so it's really important that patients understand why they're having it put in and the potential consequences of having it implanted before it's put in. For a pacemaker, it's generally a more straightforward thing to do. Patients will more often not have been seen in clinic and the ins and outs of having a pacemaker in will have been explained by the doctor or nurse specialist that's seen them. On the day when patients arrive, patients will routinely receive antibiotics, and this reduces the chance of infection beforehand. Patients, if they've not had them done in the recent past, will also have blood tests performed. Is that okay? Yes. So, in the meantime, I need to do your check. So a pacemaker or an implantable cardioverter defibrillator or an ICD will be implanted in a cardiac catheter lab. The simplest type of pacemaker will only involve one pacemaker lead, so that will obviously be the quickest and takes approximately half an hour to do. The more complex types of pacemaker or an implantable cardioverter defibrillator with additional leads can take up to an hour and a half sometimes. For the vast majority of patients, they have it in and they're well enough to go home later on that same day. For a defibrillator, because generally speaking patients have a more severe underlying heart condition, we'll keep them in overnight to monitor them and watch them for a little bit longer. 99% of the devices that we'll implant is done under what we call sedation and local anaesthetic. So we'll combine the sedative with a morphine-like painkiller. And so for most patients, it gives them a comfortable feeling. And I think it's a bit like having Christmas dinner with sherry. It leaves you with a warm glow inside. To implant a defibrillator or to implant a pacemaker, it's local anaesthetic, it's using a vein to pass the leads down around towards the heart. We use an X-ray camera that gives us an outline of where the heart is, so it allows us to put the leads into the right place and also, importantly, to see that it's stable and so, therefore, it's not going to displace, it's not going to move afterwards. And a test of stability, so that's me shaking the lead and seeing that it's caught and staying put. And there's a special wrench that goes into the pacemaker. We turn that. Three clicks there, and that's the pacemaker connected up. And we can see on the ECG, the heart tracing, that the pacemaker started to work already. The pacemaker is connected to the leads. It's implanted into what we call a pocket underneath the skin, and then the wound is closed with a dissolvable suture. So this is a stitch that over time will dissolve, and the patient won't be left with anything external and anything visible. Oval D shape. It's all one colour and dark. And then the components, the electrics. Are the pacemaker battery will run out over time. It depends on how often the pacemaker is being used as to how quickly that will happen. For most patients, that's in the region of eight to 10 years. We ask patients not to make big movements of the shoulder on whichever side of the body it's being implanted. 
but in the fullness of time, then within reason, we'd expect patients to have a full range of movement in the shoulder and certainly wouldn't expect the device to be uncomfortable. The Driving Licence Authority produce a series of guidelines that are updated frequently, and this is something that we go through with patients before the device is implanted and certainly pre-discharged so they're aware of the guidelines. After Mrs Henry is discharged from hospital, we would arrange for her to come back for an appointment in two to three weeks' time. And this is to check that the pacemaker leads are working well, this is to check that the wound's healing, and there are no concerns over infection and problems of that sort. I found it OK, yes. I, I was nice and relaxed. I, I could feel the pressure of, of the pacemaker going in, but it, it was nothing alarming. I'm hoping to do lots of things, go on holiday and... You know, have lots of fun, still go out with all my friends, walking and, yeah, and not worrying. One of the most rewarding things is when patients come back, their life's improved by what they've had done. They're able to get out and do things that they weren't able to do before, and it's an amazing thing to be able to do. Coronary heart disease is still the single biggest killer in the UK. But for over 50 years, we've tirelessly pioneered research that has helped transform the lives of people living with heart and circulatory conditions. Join our fight for every heartbeat in the UK. Every pound raised, every minute of your time and every donation to our shops will help make a difference. <laughs>